Good evening, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google+. Plus. This is Rich again, back for your third and final video blog of the night for Thursday, September 1st, 2016, around 8.25 in the evening in Berwick, Massachusetts. It's dark out right now. Tomorrow's supposed to be a decent day. And also, this weekend's supposed to be good, but Monday could be a washout on Labor Day because of her Hurricane Hermine's remnants coming up the coast. But we do need the rain. Some news to report. Only one little tidbit. Um... Scott Gomez announced his retirement from the National Hockey League after 16 seasons. Um, Gomez was the 2000 NHL Calder winner for Rookie of the Year. He played his, most of his career with the New Jersey Devils. And that's about it on the news. My third and final video blog subject of the night is my personality profile. It's back! after a week off. And tonight's personality pro pro profile is one of the most famous players in National Hockey League history, Yarmir Yaga. Yaga is currently the right winger of the Florida Panthers, and he's still going strong at the age of 44. Yarmir Yaga was born and he grew up in the Czech Republic. He started ice skating at the age of three, and once after he started ice skating, he went to play hockey. And he showed ex exceptional abilities in all fields of hockey. And he played on the junior on the uh, on a couple of junior teams, the Club Doll Junior Team and the Club Doll. Um, senior team in the Czech Republic at 16 years old and he was a great player for them and many scouts were looking at Yarmir Yaga and this was one the time when Czechoslovakia was splitting off so Yarmir Yaga didn't have to defect he was drafted by the Pens in the first round the fifth overall pick in the 1990 entry draft he was the first Czech to be drafted without defecting first, which is pretty amazing. He spent his first 11 seasons with the Pittsburgh Penguins. He teamed up with Mario Lemieux. He was also nicknamed Mario Jr. And Yaga had a great mullet. He had it for many, many years until he cut it off in 1999. Then, um, due to some disputes, uh, due to uh, making too much money for the Penguins, he was traded to Washington Capitals in 2001. He spent two and a half seasons with the Capitals. Um, the, they thought getting Yaga in his prime would catapult the Capitals to a Stanley Cup contending team. But that didn't happen. Then he played for the New York Rangers for a couple of years into 2008. Then he spent three years in the KHL to content Nanto Hockey League um, in Russia, and he played pretty good there. After those three years, he decided he wanted to come back to the NHL, and afterwards he went to the Flyers, the Stars, the Bruins, the Devils, and the Panthers. He was still producing at an advanced age. He grew back his mullet, and it looks good. Maybe he could con con continue to grow it, and it could be a gray mullet. And um, Yaga has some pretty amazing statistics. 19 seasons, he had 20 or more goals. 9 seasons, he has 50 or more assists. 5 seasons, a 100-point plateau. He led the NHL in scoring 5 times. He plays in 13 All-Star games. Seven times he's made the NHL's first team All-Star. Um, one time he made the second team All-Star for the 
NHL. Three times he won the NHL's Ted Leadensley Award, which is the player's MVP. He holds a lot of NHL records, 20 NHL records. And Yaramir Yaga also was the captain of the Pittsburgh Penguins for three seasons. He wears number 68. He won the Stanley Cup two times, 1991 and 1992. And... He played internationally for the Czech Republic during the Olympics. He won a gold medal in 1998 and a bronze medal in 2006. He's retired from international competition. Yaramir Yagas still gets it done at the age of 44. And he wants to play in the NHL until he's 50 years old. And I want to bet against him because he's still pretty good. He's still produces at an advanced age. He's been like relatively injury free. He missed kind of a total of five NHL seasons due to lockouts and playing in the KHL. But if he continue if he did not miss those seasons, he probably would be close to nine hundred goals and well over 1,500 assists and probably challenging um, the great one, Wayne Gretzky, for most points in NHL history. And here are Yarmir Yaga's career stats as of right now. 749 goal sets, third on the all-time list. 1,119 assists, 1,868 points, and that's third on the all-time list of NHLs. In the playoffs, he scored 78 goals, 123 assists, and two for 201 points. When Yarmir Yaga finally retires, he's going to be a first ballot Hall of Famer. Three years after he's retiring, many people says once he ret- when he ever retires, he should be immediately inducted into the Hockey Hall of Fame. But that rule has been waived. They they used to do like um, sometimes players who would re- retire would go into the Hall of Fame immediately, but that that's no longer the case. And I think the the Pittsburgh Penguins should retire Yaga 68 when and if he ever retires from the NHL. And that's about it on Yam Yaga. And that's about it on these video blogs, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google Plus Mo. Three more video blogs coming for you. First video blog will be about baseball sabermetric tricks. Second video blog will be about the his about WMUR Television in Manchester, New Hampshire, Channel 9. And the third and final video blog of life, the personality profile. Tomorrow's personality profile will be about Panthers goaltender Roberto Luongo. Keep calm, everybody. I'm a Julie Bunny guy. My little blood of WCCOX. And that's nice likes. Elizabeth that's so, so stunning. She's the best. Amy Sweezy's awesome. Awesome Amy. Um... Linda Church of WPIX Channel 11 in New York is so cute, and she has the best legs in New York City. Bobby Gibbs of ABC 11 has a sweet southern accent, as you see, and she has the best legs in in Raleigh, North Carolina. And in the words of Ric Flair, a WWE Hall of Famer. Woo! Bye now.